Mm, all right guys so i'm just coming back from kids green um you know tired as hell <laughs> like a lot of networking right now i probably didn't want to talk to nobody right now you know i see nobody you understand but it was a good experience right um i met a lot of important people like the broadcasters we meet people from cartoon network netflix nickelodeon sesame street um bbc a lot of different people and it was a good experience right i learned a lot from what i was seeing and what i was hearing and learned a lot about what they all want to see you know in a show in a movie in a short anything that they're basically looking for right because different networkers or different broadcasters want different things right so they had various meetups where you could speak to them for 30 like a 30 minutes with that basically explain to us what they want to see and what they're accepting in terms of you know ideas and pitches stuff like that so it gets me an idea of who wants what who is looking for what right and it helps me to put everything together to say all right this is where i need to be targeting these are the people i need to be speaking to all right so it was a very good experience otherwise we you know jamaica in general has a lot to work on when it comes to the animated industry um what we're providing because when you hear about a small animated studio you know, they tell you like 30 is small right and i can't think of 30 animators right now in my head right so in jamaica so when you think about that you have to say all right then that means that we need to be working together all right we need to be working more often together and collaborating so that is one thing i learned from this thing is that we can't do it one one the whole one army thing not gonna work you know we can't just uh, try to do on a thing by ourselves like two three animators isn't enough right even not just animators just like concept artists it's not enough right we need more talent and we need them to be at that level where you can say they can provide quality all right so we have a lot of work to do and it just takes time right and i'm here to improve my skills as well as well as others that's why i try to do these tutorials on youtube that's why i try to you know provide all these things for people because we need to work together and i'm not afraid to provide the information to improve the skills of others because it is a team effort thing i can't do it by myself another artist can't do it by himself otherwise they're gonna get up and leave and go to a bigger company right abroad and i can understand right you go to school for animation you realize there's no opportunity here you're gonna leave but you know that's why it's important that you have to improve your skills now and there's gonna be a point where it's gonna be hard for you to build up something because you have to go through the stress and the struggle of jamaican clients and people that don't pay exactly what you, sh you, you you deserve right because you deserve to get paid a good amount of money like let me just give you an example like a minute they will say a minute of animation is at least at least like what forty thousand us forty thousand us yes i was right i yeah you heard correctly <laughs> so when you think about it that's a lot of damn money when you convert that into jamaican right and when you put things into perspective like right now of course in jamaica you can't charge that because nobody's going to buy that however on a high production it's going to cost that amount because it takes a lot of different people to do an animation right so things like that and understanding budgets and understanding how much it really takes and how many people are involved within that production is important right because a lot of people don't know them see the animation and they're just like yeah it look like a small thing that easy for the man can, yeah yeah charge me so much no it is a lot of money and it takes a lot of time so when you're asking one person to do that it's a lot of work so it's just understanding that and understanding how much time it takes to even get these deals all right getting these deals with people getting these connections with people and them seeing your pitches for a show stuff like that is it's a lot of work man like it takes time it takes years it takes months right 
um i don't remember what show it was i think it was Phineas and ferb or something like that they were that they were saying that that took at least like what 10 years or more to get funding it's ridiculous right that in your head you say what the hell man i wait so long right that don't make sense so it's just you just have to know what you're getting into and you have to know that there's some sacrifices that need to be made all right but you also need to understand how much you need to charge when you're doing animation right of course you're gonna ball on the price because you need money but you need to understand how much it really take all right to do these animation how much they're like internationally how much they're charging because when you go to an international client or um these big people and they're telling a certain price and you, you ball it down way 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 low they're not going to take you seriously fam <laughs> like they're just going to say like, what you're charging so little i don't trust that all right so once you understand that you start picking apart all right i need to improve my craft but i also need to charge more you know it's just that's how it is and once you have a steady set price as to this is what and this is how much it costs people will understand and people will say, say okay it's a serious thing it's a serious production this you know they need to take it seriously and not get a little degge degge animation where it costs like 10 grand or less or so you know you have to understand the costing understand budget right but it was a good experience you know yeah it was very relaxed and it was very you know intimate because it wasn't as big as mipcom that i went to last year this was more like you had small rooms you could speak to people have a drink you know as much as you want <laughs> not too much because you don't want to be too frazzled you understand but it was something where you could start talk to them comfortably and be like yo this is what i'm working on you know what are you looking for and get an idea so that you know when you prepare something you understand that these are the people you need to go to and these are the people that fit for your whole show like let's say you want to target teens you know you're not gonna go to certain places for that right you're not gonna go pbs kids for to um you know pitch a teen show or an adult show right and of course over time they're gonna be looking for different things but people like netflix are looking for things within all age groups so you need to know who you're targeting right but yeah i have a vlog for you guys ready well it's going to be edited soon. Hopefully, I can get that to you guys soon. But, um, yeah, I learned a lot, man. Like, right now, I just need to prepare and just plan and, you know, organize. But right now, a lot of work to be done, people. A lot of work. Like, Jamaica right now needs to come together. All creatives, all the writers, all those people need to come together and create projects. Especially people coming out of college. Like, you guys are, you know in classes together you guys need to form you know collabs and form groups of people and create projects and create ideas to get them out there even if it's like a 15 second animation you can put out there keep doing those to kind of build a popularity that's very important so i hope that was informative for you guys um remember leave a like subscribe you know all of that good good jimmy jam stuff and you know stay tuned I'll be providing more information and more in-depth look as to what you guys need when you are pitching a show. Alright, I'll probably have that video ready for you guys probably later down the line. But yeah, little more.